We're at MIF Manchester International Festival and uh, the sun is shining a little bit. Um, and this is actually the first time that you and I have been down to MIF together. It's ridiculous, yeah, isn't it? It is. Uh, the last two weeks have been hectic. But amazing. Amazing. What have you been up to? So last week I had like three gigs back to back. I went to see Bonobo, Sampha and Arcade Fire. And then I went to sleep for about three days. What was your favourite out of the three? You had to pick? So hard to choose, but it's got to be Sampha. Like the performance was incredible. So good. So good. What about you? Uh, so I have, um, tonight I'm going to Cotton Panic. I've seen What If Women Ruled the World. Last night you and I went to Party Skills, which was incredible. You'll see more of that in a minute. Um, and if it, oh, I DJ'd as well, that'll also be in the video. And you bumped into Tony Walsh, the This Is The Place poet. So You've been was, mental. I know, there has been a lot of stuff going on. And in between that, I took a little holiday <laughs> as well. Uh, so thank you for watching. Here is what we got up to at MIS this year. There's a time to hide. has had huge recognition over the last few weeks. It's, how, how has it been for you? It meant stuff to people on a personal level, on a regional level, on a global level, and it's, bec it's become phenomenal in terms of what people are doing with it. People have painted it, uh, embroidered it, uh, I can't, uh, um, I can't keep everything. up. Everything, they've done everything. Every possible <laughs> art form. A few weeks ago, we, we thought we lived in the best city in the world. Now we know we do, and the world knows that as well. For the end of the world. How do you feel? We're just coming out of party skills. Yeah, slightly you know. deranged. <laughs> At the beginning of the yeah. show, we saw you swallow something very long and very large and very <laughs> difficult. Tell me a bit more about that. Mm. We invite an audience to come and we teach them all the things that they need to throw a party at the end of the world. How to make a martini, how to kill someone. <laughs> Six metres of rubber, sort of fully inflated modelling glue which just was a weird skill I discovered I had and uh, basically as a street performer from Covent Garden so to kind of build a crowd you have to do something quite grotesque and somebody went well you know swallow a balloon so that's that's kind of that. I mean the opportunity that this festival presents is just unlike any other on the face of earth I think. Manchester's got such a proud cultural heritage. To take all of that energy and all that kind of creative spirit completely reimagine it and transpose it into 2017 and still make all those connections back to the historical significance of the city. How do you make a series of shows that feel that way, that feel really, really transformative? So that's what I wanted to do with Dark Matter. It feels like this whole place is buzzing, it's so alive. How a band can function beyond simply being its music, but a band can function as a kind of catalyst. And a band can actually be a generative in the sense that their work generates other work. I think the trees are certainly very powerful. As soon as you walk into the exhibition, you go, wow, okay, what's all this about? And Martin described the original installation as a sort of park at night when everyone's gone to bed and it's a place where youth or teenagers might gather. So we thought that trying to do this in Manchester was obviously the most appropriate context. We'll have fashion walk offs and people always get into the spirit of it. So they know there's going to be something unexpected. So in the past we've had drag performers riffing off MIF headliners. As you do. As you do. <laughs> and just loads of dancing. It's going to be great. I'm gutted. I'm DJing whilst drunk at Bogus on.